Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to do this video today because I have been dying to try these. And I have the Maybelline Dream Cushion in Caramel, which is number 60. And I also have a lighter shade, which is 48 Sun Beige. So I'm not sure which shade I am. And I'm not sure if 48 is sold in America because I keep seeing, I think it's 45 Warm Beige, if I'm not mistaken. Is this only in Europe, maybe? I don't know. And is it equivalent to 45? Or because it's 48, which is a higher number, is it darker? I have no idea. But anyway, I try to match myself using um, other people's YouTube reviews and like Google images. That's what I always do when I order foundation online. As for the packaging, it's not the greatest. Like the actual thing itself is fine, but it's just so branded on the front. I don't know why they did that. I feel like it should have come with something you can remove and then you just have that plain packaging or something. Because like, if you guys are familiar with cushion foundations, the concept comes from Korea and their cushion foundations look really nice. They don't have like all this writing and branding, but anyway, whatever. Let's see how the product is. And it's SPF 20, which is actually really good. So I'm going to try a 48 Sun Beige first and see how it goes. The puff feels really nice. And just take this off. That's actually not too bad at all. That's a really good match, but I can see in the camera it looks a little bit lighter for some reason. So I guess maybe it isn't the perfect match. <laughs> so I guess it is a little bit light. Yeah, okay, I can definitely see my forehead is a little bit light. Okay. For some reason, under, well, I guess under the eyes you would normally put a lighter product anyway. So I guess that's why it wasn't like that bad. I can definitely see now. That it is too light <laughs> but don't worry we'll fix it um just for reference by the way i am 330 toffee caramel in the maybelline fit me matte and Poolis. this is the slightest touch too dark but that's pretty much i think my closest match and i don't actually mind like applying it with the puff i know some people might think it's a bit inconvenient but it's not bad but anyway that was sun beige <laughs> um also if you're wondering in estee lauder double wear i wear 4w2 in nas i can wear either syracuse or tahoe i'm kind of in between those two um what else in mac i'm not really sure because so i've never used a mac foundation but i always use nc42 concealer okay so I'm gonna try the caramel now. I think this might be a better match. Maybe slightly too dark. I don't know. Let's see. So taking actually, this might be a better shade. I thought this would be too dark, but it actually. You know what? I'm always in between shades, so it's probably like this and the warm beige mix will probably be my perfect color. But, let me just do it on the back of my hand, slightly darker than my skin. I have on no concealer and it has pretty much covered my scars. It is a slight bit too dark, so I think this is the equivalent to this, um, 330 Toffee Caramel. This is called Caramel, so that makes sense. So I'm just bronzing up my face a bit with my Kiko 101 bronzer, which I absolutely love. If you have my skin tone, it's such a good shade for like a subtle like contour. I bought this cushion highlighter from Superdrug a couple of days ago. Really excited to give it a try. I had not even heard of it, didn't know it existed. But as soon as I saw the word cushion, I was like, oh my god, I need this. So I'm gonna try it out. And it looks like this. 
and I think it was like five pounds or something. It's so cheap. So actually, before I do that, let me just swatch the sun beige next to the caramel in case that might help someone out there. Because I know a lot of people match themselves for foundations using other people. Me too. So this is sun beige and that's caramel. So let's see how it is. And packaging just looks like this. It's quite cute. And of course it comes with a puff. The puff is a little bit smaller than the foundation puff. Foundation one looks like this. I'm so excited by these cushion products. You guys know I'm in love with Korean beauty stuff and I have been for years. And cushion foundations came out years and years ago in Korea, but obviously they only had shades to match sort of fairer skin tones. So now all these Western brands are like making cushion products and it's so great. So anyway, this is what is inside and it just says, it gives you like um, just instructions, lift the sticker to use. And it says put the sticker back to reseal it after so i guess i'll do that and i'm just gonna swatch it with my finger first let's see Ooh, pretty so it's just there it's like a sort of champagne -y gold it's very subtle so let's try it and you use the little mirror. This little compact is so cute. I don't even want to like get it dirty. So. Ooh, wow. Just gonna bring it up a little bit. And I need to be careful not to bring it too far over because I have large pores here. And if you put highlighter on large pores, obviously they will be accentuated. It's pretty, uh, I really like this actually. Okay. It's very subtle, so it's almost like, it just looks like your skin itself is just healthy and glowing, if that makes sense. It's not like glittery or anything, it just gives you like, sort of a gold sheen. Gonna go over that a little bit just to a little bit more. I don't know if you could really see on camera. Let me reduce the brightness a touch. And I actually like that it's in a cushion, it works, and the puff is really good too. You can even use your fingers or whatever you want. So, yeah, I guess it's just up to personal preference. And the last thing I have to do is just apply some lipstick, and I have a new one from MUA Lux. This is one of their velvet lip lacquers in the shade Gravity and I think this is like one of those cool turned like purpley lipsticks which is what I don't have like I don't have any of these types of shades in my collection so I really want one so I picked this up so hopefully it gives the effect that I think it will So that's it, that's the finished look. I actually really like this lip color, it's very different for me. I don't have anything like this actually. It's like a cool toned, nudie lavender. So, yeah, and I'm really impressed with the Dream Cushion foundations and the MUA Lux Glow Beam Liquid Highlight Cushion. These are both really good products. I am in between shades, which is annoying but I might actually try to pour some of one of my other foundations into here just so that I can have like a perfect shade. I think caramel will be really good in a couple of weeks when I'm a little bit darker. So it's not a big deal, it's not that much darker. And the sun beige, I might just put like some of my, um, maybe like a NARS Shade Glow sort of foundation, like something not too matte in there. Like maybe Tahoe will be a nice mix because Tahoe is slightly too dark for me, some like in the winter that is. But anyway, yeah, I think it's a really good foundation. It's quite a natural finish and it does actually cover enough. Like if you have really dark, dark marks, it might not be enough. 
um, or really bad eyes, um, dark eye cycles, you might need to conceal. But I didn't do any concealing because I just wanted to see what the foundation looks like. And as it's like saddening in even more, it looks even better. It really looks like skin. It's really good actually. I'm quite impressed. So these two make a great combination and um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll link all these products below, of course. Um, and yeah, that's about it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.